The steps to know what you say, nothing is changing. It's what you know that you are still implementing. Nothing is changing. Now, from here, really question. Given a circuit problem, understand what you have to calculate. Now, from here, the question says that calculate what? The question says find I. This I, where is this I flowing? In what register is this I flowing? It will register. Yes. What it simply means is that you are calculating the current in the 8 ohm register. Right? Now, solution. Step one. That would be what? Step one. Identify a load register. Meaning, your load register. Your load register. Your load register. Equals to what? 8 ohm. Meaning, from this equivalent diagram, this is what? 8 ohm. Now, you want to get this to that. Question mark. Question mark. I said earlier that you can start with this face and you can start with this face. And yeah, you are still doing the same thing. Alright, now from here, check. The next step you got. Find your eyes. You know, first thing first, if um identify a load register, yeah. you are going to be doing a diagram by short circuiting the branch the load register belongs to. When we say short circuit, remove the load. Sorry, remove the register. By doing that, you have this. This is 30. Nothing is changing except from the branch, right? Yes. We should select this branch, right? Mm -hmm. We should select this branch. Then the next thing is what? Calculate. What's the next step? Calculate I short circuit. Calculate I short circuit. Now, from here, your I short circuit, mind you, this branch that you have your load register, the current flowing there is what? I short circuit. Now, calculate I short circuit. By formula, what is I short circuit? I short circuit. Now, what? Meaning the current of the other branches. And in this case, you have just two branches. Meaning the summation of the current in this branch and the current in this branch. Right? Yes. Now, meaning, now, um, I want the answer from you guys. Let's say you have an I EF plus I CD, for this one, and I short circuit is equal to. I E F minus I C D. Call this two. Sorry? Call this two. Now, between one and two, which one will be the formula for I should say? Two. 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 Now, the question is what? Because the, the orientation of the battery in um, branch E F is one, different two, from what? Branch C D. Right? Now, let's say you have your circuits like this. Let's say you have a battery like this. You know this as one, you know this as two. For branch EF, in what manner? In what manner do you have the terminal of your battery? Is it one, two? Yes. One, two, right? Yes. Whatever branch CD, two, two one. one, meaning you are different. It's because of subtraction. In a case whereby you have it the same, meaning one, two, one, two, or two, one, two, one, it becomes what? Addition as well. Yes. So that's the concept, that's the logic. Now, meaning the correct um, formula to use for I shall second becomes for case 2. Now, this is what we are doing with. Now, how do you calculate REF and um, ICD? We call from Ohm's law, we have that I is equal to V over R. Call this equation 1. Implementing equation 1 to branch EF and branch CD, you get REF and um, ICD. Now let's apply equation one to branch EF. IEF is equals to what? Identify your voltage and your resistor. That's what? 30 divided by 2. And this is equals to what? 15 ampere. 
Let's solve for i c d. What do you have? Ten divided by one. Ten divided by one, and this is equal to what? Ten amperes. Ten amperes. Therefore, i s c is equal to what do you have? I s c equals to what? Fifteen minus ten. Fifteen minus ten, which is equal to what? Five. Five amperes. Now, in place of these two unknown. You've gotten this guy right, which was 5 amperes. Next thing, next up, you have to get this equivalent resistor. Then, how do you do that? From this um, diagram, just remove your source voltage. So, you are meant to enjoy it, but let's go with this. So, remove your source voltage. Now, let's solve our equivalent resistor. So, now we've got R is equal to what? 2 times 1 2 times 1 2 times 1 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 2 plus 2 And this is equal to 0.667 0 0.667 0 0.667 0 0.667 ohms So you have 0 0.667 ohms Lastly, what are you what are you going to do? Add everything to your Lastly, we call your what? Nothing's formula, right? Yes. And by nothing, it says that I, I is equal to, to all into bracket the equivalent resistors R over R plus what? The load resistor, load resistor multiplied by what? I I I S. S. Now, substitute. The current flowing through 8 ohm resistor is equal to 0 0.667 divided by. 0 0.667 plus, plus, plus the load register 8 all into bracket 5. five. Now, if we use your calculator, therefore, I of 8 ohm register is equal to what? 0 0.385 ampere. Yeah, that's correct. Meaning, it's equal to 0 0.385 ampere. That's it. Now, from here, this is just like a um, simple question, right? It's actually simple. Why is it simple? Because of the, because the term is actually simple. Yes, yes. The term is actually simple. Now, let's take this um, example. Let's take this example. I said earlier on that you are still implementing what you know, right? Nothing is changing. Nothing is changing. Just find a way whereby you can relate what you know to the given question. Now, let's take this next example. We take two more examples. The last one, you really want to do it, but it looks confusing, but very, 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 very simple. But before then, let's take example three. Let's take example three.